Hi everyone, meeting all artists in the world. This is Artist Space. Let's go. So today I'm here with. Hey Alupa, I'm here with Jenny. And we are going to meet Alupa. I am a dancer from Sweden, and I do mainly. Popping at the moment and also contemporary, but I do very many different styles. Yep. Hey, Europa. My name is Sean. Today we're here to I'm a dancer from Gothenburg, Sweden. Uh, I would say I do many street styles, but for now I focus on popping and uh, also some hip hop, but mostly popping. That's why I'm here in Korea. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Jenny. <laughs> How did you start to dance? Uh, so actually, I started dancing ballet mm -hmm. when I was ten, and uh, I went to a uh, Swedish ballet school, uh, where I did the classical dance styles like yeah. ballet, jazz, contemporary, uh, and all of that. And then I transitioned from the classical styles to more street dance mm -hmm. after. And that's, uh, yeah. But was it really hard to change? Because I started breakdance and hip hop, then I changed to ballet and uh, contemporary. Yeah. It was really hard for me, yeah. so I'm curious. It it was certainly like a big difference between mm -hmm. going from that into more street dance, mm -hmm. and like just the posture and like to be more. Relaxed was hard yeah. in the beginning. It's still hard sometimes mm -hmm. to like be fully like this. Even though I've not been doing ballet for a long time, but it's still like very in the body. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard, but it's uh, worth it, and it's a lot of fun to do that journey. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, if you find something new, it's always fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about you, Shen? Uh, as for me. I started when I was 16, uh, so some would say late. So uh, yeah, Ca cannot wait. No, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, mm. I actually started out being self-taught. Uh, I started out with K-pop. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. K-pop all around. Yeah. Uh, so me and my friend, he's from Korea. Mm. Uh, he was interested in the K-pop scene mm. uh, before, and then he showed me. So, and I, I thought it was really, really cool. So I, or the two of us, we rented a studio and then we just watched YouTube and we like copied the dance. So we were going to a studio, copied from YouTube, like trying to learn and then, yeah, like once a week or something. So that's how it started. Um, and then when I was 18, uh, my cousin showed me a dance school called Twisted Feet. Shout out to Twisted Feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that's where I started my street style journey. And I was also at first a, a very like choreography person. Mm -hmm. So I did only choreography first. Mm -hmm. And then later I transitioned to different uh, foundation styles. Uh, so I started with like hip hop. And uh, then I went to like some some rocking, some break, some popping. Uh, but I've been trying out like most styles. But I didn't end up being stuck in one until maybe now. Uh, so right now I'm like focusing on more on popping, popping mm -hmm. styles. But I still enjoy taking like house, hip hop, maybe also some contemporary sometimes. I also am curious what's in Sweden. What Can you talk Sweden? about that? <laughs> I mean, I, I know IKEA from Sweden. Yeah. And that's all, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to introduce some? I mean, yeah. IKEA is probably like Sweden's greatest pride. It's mm. it's known everywhere in the world. Yeah. Like, you even have the IKEA here in Korea. Mm. I've actually been to Right. Just to eat Swedish food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then we have like, we have also have uh, Volvo, yeah. which mm. is a, a international yeah. car brand. Mm. Uh, all 
also came through Sweden. Yeah, but now I don't think it's it's. I think China bought it now, but yeah, yeah, but maybe it yeah. comes from Sweden from the beginning. But otherwise, I think Sweden is very known for for nature. Mm. Like many many people come to um, travel to Sweden to experience like. Yeah, the more nature landscape mm. and uh, the coast is also very nice in Sweden. Like we live in Gothenburg, it's on the west coast, mm. so we live by the ocean, and, wow. uh, or it's close mm. uh, to the ocean. It's a it's very popular to go there to Gothenburg to see that part mm. of, the, uh, of the country. So we have like ABBA, you know, the, it's a, wow. like a band, it's like an old band, but they were really, really famous when they were, uh, yeah. when they were at their top. <laughs> and yeah. then, I don't know, maybe like Avicii, Avicii yes, the yeah. DJ, yeah, DJ. He, uh, he's famous from Sweden, but I don't know. How is actually the, the relation of North European, like uh, Norway, Sweden... Because I, I used to live in Germany mm-hmm. and France and Germany has a, you know, bit um, always like kind of, <laughs> yes, you know, <laughs> how is actually they up there? Because I never went there. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never been to uh, Norway or Finland. Like Norway once, but I was just passing through with the car to go up north to ski. Okay. Yeah. So, mm. but I've never been in uh, Norway and or Finland, and uh, but I think at least Norway and Sweden and also Denmark, yeah, is very dance wise. Is a, a lot of people travel back and forth. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's cheap, and it's also very close, and there's events, so people just pass through. And attend the different events and just different schools or workshops, and so on. Uh, but for Finland, I don't know so much actually. Sorry. You know, I I have one point three three percent Finnish oh. DNA. <laughs> for you. Yeah. Well, I I am also Finnish, Finnish? but I I'm I'm not been there so much, so I don't mm. know like the relationship. But Finland was a part of Sweden before, mm. so many people there speak Swedish okay. also. Uh, but then I don't know the relationship between those two countries now. Uh, I don't know if there's beef. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, and not between any of the other countries either. Yeah. yeah nice. it's, so it's actually just nice. Yeah. yeah. So you also know some trends like TikTok. Insta, the short form videos. Was it for you guys like um, effects with the, those trends with, with your dance style? So? Like TikTok? Yeah, TikTok, Insta, short form videos. and I think maybe because we're, we, when we started like doing street dance and mm. stuff, TikTok wasn't a thing. Mm. Uh, and I, I personally never downloaded TikTok, so yeah. I, I don't know about the trends, but I think TikTok can be really good if, mm. if, if you get uh, seen as a professional dancer there, mm. then I think it's a very good platform. Mm. And I know that there is a lot of dancers now that do a lot of TikToks mm. and it actually becomes the quality on the videos has become yeah. much better and the choreographies has become more complicated i yeah. would say so yeah i think not me personally i didn't get affected because i never used it so mm. that's probably why also I, if i would use it then of course i would probably yeah. be affected by it but yeah like tiktok I don't think it had or has had a personal effect on my on what I want to do mm. or how my style is when I dance. Mm. Uh, I have TikTok downloaded and I, <laughs> I've actually done some dances. Nice. <laughs> uh, I think it's some, some like it, especially now when they have evolved or mm. the dances have become more, more 
not necessarily complicated, but mm. maybe just more dance mm. and not just some mm. random movements. Mm. Uh, they're actually quite fun. Uh, so, but I've only done one, and it was really fun. But it's just one. <laughs> and they get yeah. many views yeah yeah, but, yeah that's also Crazy. The, sad, yeah. The, the sad thing <laughs> like that dance me and my friend we did it we we taught ourselves in like 20 minutes and then we recorded like five times and then it got like eighty thousand views and and for my own videos it's like four thousand my own yeah. friend yeah it's kind of sad man. but i think it's it's also a the reason why is because people watching TikTok want it to be simple. Mm. Like for our, us dancers, when we create something, we make it very technical, like difficult, uh, because we are also like, we want it to be very cool yeah, and high level. Cool. But TikTok dancers are not as high level because the point is to grab the audience and also make them being able to do the dance mm. yeah and that's i think that's why those videos on tiktok gets more views mm. because even non-dancers can enjoy it mm. while maybe when we create something we think it's really cool like yeah, yeah this is so good but for people who don't understand dance they're like they can't live really grasp it at the same way mm. um yeah, I don't know why uh, where this was going, <laughs> but <laughs> that's. <a point. laughs>